Injured here, 2v2 faction battle tournament. This is quarterfinals game one. For the blue team, we have Eldar. First up is Tiger as a walk spotter exile, teleporting command that fights in range combat. Great for capping and harassing early on with lots of great control of these two. Pressure from scouts early. Alongside Asmondeus is a warlock melee commander with great mobility and disruption. Can also tank damage with the right war gear. Red team, we have Space Marines. First up is Rataxas as a tech marine starts off range combat can get a melee weapon good damage output and utility can build structures and repair alongside is Manesh is a apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default starts off with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura for those of you confused Rataxas and Manish were given a bye to the quarterfinals because Red Rupee and Steve Budd unfortunately could not compete Steve Budd was a wall just did not show up and Red Rupee's connection died so he couldn't find a replacement teammate. 495 500 early on, a 2 to 1 cap for the Space Marine team, but lots of annoying harassment from this garrison from the Warps of Rexarch. 489 500 Tactical Marines in striking white and light red, forcing off the Warlock, we do have Howling Banshees up for both Eldar players as you'd expect, I suppose, versus Space Marines. Shotguns, maybe? No sign of them yet. We do have double scouts from Manish. Brother Carry himself is venturing out from mid to try and perhaps decap this wreck point or just assist this Tech Marine with a heal when he needs it. 469 500. Tactical Marines backing away. Here come Asmons. Banshees, the Warlock himself still back at base, but Banshees just taking too much fire from double tax and triple scouts there are backed off. Did they lose a model? I don't think they did, no. 459, 500, there's a 2 to 1 for the Space Marines. Decent start for them. Here comes that Warp Spider Exarch. What's this? It's Howling Banshees capping the north. Natural VP here for the Eldar team being decapped and is decapped. Here comes the Tech Marine as well to push. And look at this double push against the power. Nicely done by the Space Marines. Finish off that generator. Warps the Rexar trying to tie up those Tactical Marines. But taking a lot of damage and needs to retreat out. Here come Howling Banshees. But should he engage here? I don't think he should. Taking tons of damage as a grenade. Tactical Marines bit it hard but the Apothecary there with a the heal. Gonna force melee now on the Dire Avengers, yes. Taking a couple of models, but there are ranges up for both Eldar players. 403-500, there's a double cap for red. Tactical Marines have lost a model. And only got one generator, it looks like. Decent pressure though from red. Blue have taken a north thanks to Tiger. And they have the south power as well, which looks like has a node on it, 379, 500, there's the double steal. Guardian Weapon team now on the way for both Eldar players mirroring each other's build, which you've seen in most games from Eldar players it seems. 363, 500, Warps of Rexart taking back the natural. Howling Banshees take down the Apothecary now going after the Tactical Marines with those power melee kicks of theirs and take down a model as well, wow. Got a whole bunch of XP there. Scouts are gonna see what's going on south and be faced with a node which will take them a very long time to deal with. 336, 500, there's a 2 to 1 out. Rangers taking down a scout model with that sniper rifle of theirs. Have their Pathfinder gear. No Pathfinder gear for Asmon though. Assault squad on the field for both Space Marine players. Here is Manish. And jumps the shuriken, disrupt him when they land, and then smack him in the face with the chain swords. And Tiger not paying attention to these guys. Only loses one model, that's alright. 3, 2, 1, 500. Now the Rangers get jumped. Trying to infiltrate, but they were firing, so were spotted and lose a model. Rangers moving up for Asmon. Get another shot, and then a kinetic pulse. 3, 2, 1, 500. Shuriken behind a shield but is broken by the jump of the Assault Marines. Thought 
thought we were going to see a retreat grenade there, but these guys do not have their sergeant. And it's going to be more pressure on the VP, maybe a power harass there. But the Eldar might get a quick triple. 3, 2, 1, 4, 8, 4. Don't think they will get a triple. No. That cap has been abandoned. It was just decapped by the Wooks by the Rexarch, who then teleported over to the wreck point to decap it. Howling Banshee's in amongst the Assault Squad with the Warshout Warlock alongside. Dire Avengers taking a garrison. These Assault Marines need to be very careful. He's keeping them in this engagement and then retreats them out. Should have jumped them out. But it looks like they did not have the energy to do so. In fact, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 5. Double Assault Marines for both of the Space Marine players. Look at this. Saves those guys with that jump. Banshees run away. Interested to see how this plays out now. This is some crazy capping going on from this Walks of Rexarch who's now idle, but look at the map. Teleports away now. 316448. Guardian Weapon team being tied up by Assault Squad and retreat themselves. Rangers are there getting shots off. Big reload time between shots, of course, from all sniper units. Manish Apothecary is up. Assault Squad alongside pushing the north. Double Assault Marines, you don't see it all that often, have seen it a few times from Riku and of course famously from Sneakers Peekers. He used to run that a lot. 298, 448. Rangers backing off there and mid is blue and both the naturals are red. Howling Banshees, looks like they killed a bunch of scouts this one. Still bleeding, that's a ranger squad. Ranger model, I should say. Shuriken gonna set up in the south, 290448. Good VP lead for the Space Marines, giving Tiger and Asmon a good game in this quarter final. Tiger and Asmon, one of the strongest teams. Look at the amount of resources Tiger is floating. Is he gonna go tier 3? Oh, tier 2, sorry, he wasn't even in tier 2 yet, that's why he's floating so much. Asmon hitting tier 2 now. A heavy tier 1 for the Space Marine players. Manish replacing. No, he didn't. He had two scouts already. He did lose a scout squad though. 288. 48. 448, I should say. How are they going to deal with these double assault marines? He's going to get double banshees. Asmon going for Dark Reapers. 288. 448. Shuriken in the garrison doing a good job. Banshee's getting in the garrison just to escape the assault squad. There's a grenade when they do retreat. Double ASM play. The red team should be going tier 2 imminently. Banshees of Asmund capping mid. Assault squad are gonna do what? Hit power. Looks like they are gonna decap the VP and harass the Banshees. Gonna get in retreat path. Can they get a model or two? It seems they can't. 288431. There is the double cap for Eldar. But it might be a triple for Red again. Gonna get their natural back. Gonna take the mid. Maybe no. Wolves of Rexarch harassing these tactical marines enough to stop them capping. 288426. Tier 2 for the Space Marine teams now. And the Dark Reapers are on the field. Long range plasma damage. Really nasty versus heavy and super heavy infantry. 285426 as a single assault squad taking shots from the Rangers and are now idle. There is a retreat, but they did lose a model. Reapers have this nasty burst damage about them. 27426, there's the double for the Space Marines. Getting a decent VP lead here, almost 200. Warp throw on the way for the Warlock. He might use this to throw away the double ASM when they're in amongst his stuff. Rangers are level 2, do not have their hollow fields. Big blob of space marines in mid, three assault squads, apothecary and tactical marines and there's a jump. Shuriken is jumped, Dark Reapers are jumped and Asmont is forced to retreat. 2-4-6 426. There's the 2 to 1 for the Space Marines. Ratax has just lost something. It was just scouts, I think. Well, just scouts. Better than losing a Marine squad, in a way. And more pressure on a natural. There's a, a plasma grenade. Nicely done. Big chunk of damage did to those assault squad, but they do get a heal from the apothecary. No sign of any Commander War Give for the Space Marine players who have power blades up for the Warps of Rexarch. 
And the Warlock with that Warp Throw, of course. Level 2, level 2, level 2. And almost level 2 for the Apothecary. He's going for the Master Crafted Bolt. So can use that to try and control the enemy commanders. There's a Warp Throw. Throwing these Assault Squad right into trouble. Here come Howling Banshees on the flank. With their Aspect of Strength and their Exarch. Making a Jump Squad jump out. Tiger also with Aspect of Strength and the Exarch. There's the Washout up against double Assault Marines though. They can't win that fight. There's a Merciless Strike. Do we have Sergeant up for all four Assault Squads? We do. That's a hundred power right there. Banshee's capping their natural back again. Good pressure on that from Red. 201426 being a bit static now. I think they could have got another harass or so on that power during this time. Looks like they're going to push north together and try and cap it up. Bunch of stuff died here. 189426. Scouts with a sergeant up for Manish. Got a weapon team backing off. There's a webway gate. I think it was spotted. Yes, it was. 181426. The assault squad. The march of the assault squads, and they will m mash it down. 177426. Double Dark Creepers now. One for each Eldar player. And looks like they are both fully upgraded with their Aspect and their Exarch. 176426. There's a single for the Elder. Preserving squads here. Grave Lord on the way for Tiger as well. We might see four Melter Bombs on that thing. Shuriken gets jumped. Initiating the engagement. Double Banshees there. Triple Assault Squad in there. And here comes the Warlock. There's the Warp Throw. Into the Autark drop, beautifully done. Tiger needing to retreat his Banshees. There might have been some friendly fire there. Autark drop. Stunning with their grenades. 176384, this Shuriken just about getting away. There's a triple cap for the Eldar, and that was a terribly bad engagement for the Space Marines. Good grief. Rataxas losing Tactical Marines and Assault Squad. Wow. Wraith Lord is up for Tiger Zelda. That is going to be difficult to recover from. Can they hit power or something now, Eldar? Looks like they're intent on decapping stuff instead. Dark Creepers getting shots off on the Tactical Marines. Not taking cover as well as they could have, perhaps. But they do force them off. These guys do have their Sergeant. What is Rataxas going to do now? Maybe a Dreadnought. Maybe. Has spotted the Wraith Lord now. Has the shoulder mounted shuriken which does insane DPS 46 or so piercing damage. Has that massive razor sword as well to smack you in the face with, of course. 176312. There's a double cap for Eldar, gonna be a 2 to 1. Other carry level 2. Tech Marine still no war gear on this guy. He is going for a dreadnought. Don't think it's gonna be enough. We have double aspect of strength banshees. If they can dodge. The Emperor's Fist is going to be under pressure, especially with the Wraith Lord running around as well. Stern Guard Veterans for Manish. I'm sure both players would have liked to get these guys on the field with those Hellfire rounds. Dire Avengers decapping that North Power. Rangers. Level 2 with Pathfinder gear for Tiger. Still no Pathfinder gear for Asmon. Decided to go without it. 176279. Space Marines. What are they going to do? Do they split up or do they try and push mid together? I think they should split up. As difficult as that's going to be for Rataxas. He does have his Dreadnought on the field now. 176, 270 Assault Squad. Losing a model, maybe another one. Autark jumping through. Healing those Banshees and buffing their speed. And I think it buffs damage as well. Really good little support sub-commander, the Autark. She fleets away at the speed of light. 176258 kicking off in the mid. Wraith Lord causing all sorts of trouble. Stern Guard veterans are wiped out, and that is devastating losses for the Space Marines. Eldar have swept them away in tier 2. Just one bad engagement for Rataxas and Manish, unable to hold against that Wraith Lord, loses a bunch of stuff as well. 176241, both players losing an assault squad. Manish also losing his Stern Guard. Rataxas replacing his Tactical Marines. 
not giving up here. We do have the Mastercrafted Bolter up. 176, 227 is the double cap. Gonna be a triple, is it? No, Autoc grenaded off of the VP and might go down here. We'll go down. No, it was a special attack. And the Autoc gets away, gets her executioner sphere on the field. Almost 65 power melee DPS, that's not bad at all. Warps are at level 3, Warlock level 4, level 3, Tech Marine level 2, Apothecary and Eldar are setting up in mid with two Shuriken Cannons and a Bright Lance. Rangers are also there. Dark Reapers still around, level 2 for Tigers. 176, 185. Tech Marine taking shots, he does have the orbs up, will help him to deal with the Wraith Lord. Thought we were going to see a multi melter perhaps for this dreadnought, but no, he's keeping it melee. 176, 175. There's the 2 to 1 cap. What's going on here? Howling Banshee's in amongst the Salt Squad alongside the Warlock. Painful. Banshee's taking a lot of damage, though. Here comes the Autop with her heal, and it gets them out. The heal isn't a huge amount, but alongside the buffs that it also gives is an awesome little ability. 176, 162, Assault Squad, very lucky to get away. Three models, there's the leap from the Warlock. But it doesn't help him take one down. Two to one, fettled up. Space Marines holding on. Tactical Marines getting their Sergeant over here. Assault Squad have leveled to two for Manish. And it's tier three for the Eldar players. Red team do have a sizable one out, sizable I should say, amount of red. Thanks to all their losses, I suppose, but they can't get to tier three to utilize it for venerables and terminators and nukes and stuff. They are doing what they should, trying to split up the Eldar team and push the flanks. But this is a bad engagement for the assault marines. A nice mercy strike mode, and they get a heal and get away. Not much else he could have done there. Warps of Rexart goes down, or not, Tactical Marines stop attacking him, would have taken him down in melee there, Full Auto setting that up, now they retreat, and looks like they are going to get away okay, maybe not okay, losing the model there to the Banshees, and look at the map control for the Eldar, Warthog leaping into combat, and helping to wipe those Tactical Marines off the face of the planet, 176, 113. Here comes the Dreadnought. I haven't really seen it do much. It's got its chance here. That splash damage devastating to those Banshees and takes one out with the Inspiration buff going. Asmon seems content just to fight this thing. Down goes the Exarch though. That's going to put a dampener on things. Right Lance now getting shots off. Just holding up the Dreadnought long enough to do that. 176, 99. There's a 2 to 1 for the Eldar. Assault Squad on the way for Ataxas Tier 3. For Manish. Tiger floating tons, almost a thousand requisition. Going for an avatar, I suppose. Does he have to pop for an avatar? I think he does. 17689. What's going on mid? Soul Squad jumping in. Shuriken takes the building though. They can throw their blind grenades in there, but they don't have the energy to do so. Or tuck. Can she finish off the Assault Squad? No, high powered shot stops her in her tracks. Quick thinking from her Taxas now goes back to repairing his Dreadnoughts. Kicking off mid, Dark Reapers forcing off the Apothecary and Merciless Switchblade is up. Level 5 Warlock also has the Champion's Robe 17667 as the single. Sneaky Assault Squad decapping and now capping. They do have that Thunder and Lightning of course. Oh no, gonna retreat through a Wraith Lord and a Power Blade Warps Spider Exarch. Down goes one model. Can a Wraith Lord get another? No. Pounding Banshees might though. Painful. Somehow still have three models. There we go, there's a Destructor on retreat. Taking one down. 17652, there's the one to one Tiger going for an Avatar. Huge pressure for Red Team to deal with. And it's going to be a 2 to 1 once the Whoops Mother Exarch finishes that cap. There we go. Tactical Marines backing away. Not much they can do by themselves. Red team just need to have a very, very good engagement. Manish is tier 3 and can almost get terminated, but will it be enough? I don't think it will. 176, 40. 
there's the Emperor's Fist, especially with these Banshees, level 2 and level 3, kicking ass. Ortak all alone now. Look at that disruption on the Tech Marine uh, passive leap. Raid Lord in there. No sign of a Melter Bomb. The Assault Squads of Rataxas do not have Thunder and Lightning. 176, 24, double cap for the Eldar team. A bunch more lag to deal with. There's an Orbital Bombardment. Looks like it's not going to do a whole lot though. Maybe it will. Look at this. He's caught some Dire Avengers, the only Dire Avengers and the Dark Reapers as well. Level 3 Dire Avengers, but it was too late. There's the triple cap for Eldar and they take the game. Space Marines started off very well, but midway through Tier 2, they got that bad engagement and Rataxas lost most of his stuff. Couldn't really recover from that. It was very difficult to do so. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next game.